Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the edge of the universe? Mankind has constantly been pursuing new discoveries that help expand our knowledge of the observable universe. In particular, the efforts of the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful one to date, have led to astonishing discoveries about what lies in the vast reaches of outer space. In this video, we're going to highlight the plethora of James Webb's fascinating discoveries at the edge of the universe. While the Hubble telescope was able to discover the collision of two galaxies named IC 1623, it wasn't able to see clearly through the thick layer of dust surrounding them. As it mostly relies on using visible light, this meant that anything that's hidden behind that space dust won't be visible from such a long distance. However, the Webb telescope uses infrared technology which allows it to peer through space dust and this allowed it to discover a secret star formation just hiding behind the two galaxies colliding with each other. According to scientists, this star formation produces tons of stars at a rate that's 20 times faster than our own Milky Way galaxy. Not only that, scientists speculated that the collision of the two massive galaxies could also lead to a supermassive black hole. Unfortunately, that's something that's out of reach even for the powerful JWST. Several years ago, the Hubble Space Telescope unveiled a breathtaking sight called the Pillars of Creation, where star formation takes place in a captivating display that mesmerized both scientists and enthusiasts. However, James Webb Space Telescope discovered something more. The JWST discovered that there are tiny red dots in the backdrop of the pillars where new stars are being born. These red dots are basically dust and gas clouds several times larger than our very own solar system. These stars are said to be in the very early stages of their formation, and the reason why they remained undetected before is that they were still not yet burning hydrogen. But as they gradually collect more materials from space, they will increase in density, which will allow them to be fully born. As an infrared telescope, this discovery by JWST could mean that we will be able to better understand the formation of stars, and that includes our own sun. As eerie as its name sounds, the Phantom Galaxy has remained a mystery since it was first discovered by the Hubble Telescope. The images it took highlighted the galaxy's perfect spiral design. However, the images captured by the Webb Telescope showcased the galaxy in even more detail. It highlighted the fiber-like structures in the galaxy that emit dust and gas. It also highlighted the bright blue structure in the center, something that was shown as just white light in the Hubble telescope's image. Furthermore, a composite image of the images captured by both telescopes gives us a view of the Phantom Galaxy in both optical and infrared versions. This new discovery has led astronomers to more easily pinpoint any region in any galaxy that is a spot for star formation. The Webb Telescope was intended to explore the vastness of space in a bid to find and observe the most distant galaxies in existence, and that's something that it managed to achieve. According to scientists, the JWST was able to observe the four most distant galaxies ever known. This significant discovery could also mean that these galaxies are among the oldest in the observable universe. With a distance of 13.4 billion light years, this means that these galaxies are way older than the universe itself, which is only estimated to be around 350 million years old. Researchers believe that they could discover even more distant galaxies using the JWST that might potentially be older than the ones discovered so far. Back when it was first discovered, WASP-96b was originally thought to be a cloudless planet. However, when NASA released the images captured by the JWST of the planet's atmosphere, it revealed something much more exciting. Specifically, their analysis revealed that the once cloudless planet is not so cloudless after all. They were able to detect signs of clouds and water vapor on WASP-96b, and this has led to confusion among scientists due to their contradicting data that the planet was entirely cloudless. Unfortunately, the presence of water and clouds on the said planet doesn't seem to indicate the presence of any life form. Instead, the planet is a gas giant similar to Jupiter, albeit slightly larger. It's also been discovered that the planet's temperature reaches a scorching 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. The South Pole Wall is a massive wall that lies behind the dust, gas, and stars of our own galaxy spanning the southern edge of the local cosmos. It is so big that it disrupts the regional development of the universe from the Perseus constellation in the northern hemisphere to Apis in the faraway south. 
a multinational group of astronomers led by Daniel Pomerady discovered the wall. It joins a slew of other cosmographic phenomena known to scientists during the last few decades, such as the arrangement of galaxies. For those who are wondering, a galaxy wall is the largest thing in the identifiable universe, and each is separated from the other by a massive empty space. The Great Wall and the Boots Void are two other walls that have been recognized by astronomers. When these walls are added together, they form what scientists call the cosmic web. Understanding the cosmic web would not only teach us about the structure and composition of the universe, but it may also assist us in fully understanding how the universe arose and developed over time. Astronomers are fascinated by the South Pole Wall because it is only half a billion light years away. Surprisingly, the close proximity is part of the reason it was so difficult to detect until recently. It is located just behind the Milky Way galaxy, where the intense light of the galaxy effectively hides the wall. Another amazing feature of the wall is its size in comparison to the volume that the team was assessing. Still, they'd have to presume that their view of the filament is so obstructed that it reaches beyond their survey range. When scientists discovered flaws in the original Big Bang concept, they became suspicious of the existence of a multiverse. Astronomers discovered in the 1920s that the far-off galaxies are spinning away from each other, meaning that the universe continues to expand. This exponential expansion magnified tiny shifts in matter distribution across the universe. Over time, these differences developed into the galaxies and clusters of constellations that today dot the cosmos containing innumerable stars and planets. But if inflation can blow out a single slice of the universe, why not many? There didn't appear to be any way to limit inflation so that it produced only one universe. According to this viewpoint, new pocket universes are constantly appearing, with a total number of new universes expanding indefinitely. Some physicists, such as Lindy, have welcomed the vast number of universes, depicting them as small colored spheres that bubble up and create new bubbles as they expand. In fact, he has stated that he would bet his life that the multiverse exists. The debate may appear to be innocuous infighting among a small number of physicists. However, numerous scientists noted that if physicists are not careful in differentiating speculative hypotheses from established facts, the public may be misled and pseudoscientists may claim that their ideas fit the requirements. Despite JWST being the most powerful telescope ever made, the amount of information it can gather by peering into the edge of the universe can be pretty limited. There is still a myriad of things we don't know about the universe. Is there really an edge? Is the universe actually infinite? Or does it even stop at some point out there? For now, we can only arrive at speculations about what truly lies at the edge of the universe and potentially beyond it. Still, the amount of new discoveries that the James Webb Space Telescope is making is nothing short of impressive. Maybe one day we can finally get to have the answers to all those questions we've been asking after all this time.